Hey everyone, I'm Captain Forest Falcon. Welcome back. Oops. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Captain Forest Falcon. Welcome back to Ocarina of Time Randomizer. So, uh, last time we found a ton of songs. Uh, like, we found Zelda's Lullaby, and then we just started picking up more items. And we're basically... We're doing really well. We also found one of the last Triforce pieces. We only need one more, and then that isn't even going to be a factor for the rest of this. So we're just here back in the uh, Desert Colossus. We're picking up some things that we can now get because we have Zelda's Lullaby. So yeah, we're getting the Great Fairy, and then we're going to go back into the dungeon and we're going to get like three more things that we can get with it. Already back up to almost up to 500 rupees. And then what we might do, we might go to the ice caverns now. Now that that is available to us. Because, yeah, we could do that. We could get like a... Oh, don't lock onto them. Yeah, one of the nice things about uh, the hover boots is it actually makes rolling way more effective because... If you roll without with just regular boots, uh, you'll find that you just constantly stop. Which kind of takes away the whole advantage of rolling, but with the hover boots on, you don't lose any momentum, so it actually feels like it actually speeds things up a bit. So here's our first, uh, here's our first Zelda's Lullaby spot. I don't need to worry about you. Yeah, so there's three that we need to get here. There's one in, like, the main room. There's one that was right near the ending, I think. Oh, I've already got the long shot equipped. Oh, come on. There we go. Just got it. <laughs> what do we get? Okay, we got another key, which actually isn't super helpful, because I did the skip. So we could go and fight the... Uh, other iron knuckle if we really wanted to. I don't know why we would want to do that though. It would just be a complete waste. Oh no! No! Bad! Dang it! Uh, okay, he just took my shield. He didn't take my tunic. That would have been a problem. Okay. This is just my shield back, right? These people on the white horse, they were Zelda Nippa, weren't they? <laughs> Okay, but now, just because I feel like it, I can now actually go, you know, go around without a shield. Sometimes it's fun to do that. Honestly, I actually deliberately, as a kid would, get myself eaten by like-likes so that they would remove my shield. Since you can't equip your shield, but I kind of liked the idea of, you know, uh, walking around. I thought Link looked cooler without a shield, so I would, especially since with the big Goron sword. Because with the big Goron sword, uh, you know, you don't even use your shield anyway. So it just seemed way cooler to me to just have Link, you know, go around with a two-handed sword and no shield. So I liked to actually do that. Okay, second Zelda's Lullaby target. Is this going to be anything good? Because one of them was a key, which we would have normally needed... Uh, but we don't because we were able to break the dungeon. So now everything should be... There could be something that gives us progress. We have like two opportunities, right? The boss key and this. Another key? Where do, where do we even need another key? Is it like on the child side? Is there like a locked door that I just totally skipped? That might be the case. There might be like two things that you can actually just completely skip here. And they're just keys. It may not have even been worth coming here if that's the case. Because it means that really this is the only... I This last Zelda's Lullaby spot is the only thing that's actually going to maybe be progress. But at the very least then we don't have to wor wor think about uh, this place in the back of our minds. Yeah, I forgot just the number of ways that, you know, being able to just sequence break this dungeon can just help so much with, you know, just avoiding keys. Like, it's kind of crazy. You only need two keys to actually beat this place. Okay. I don't need to take care of... I don't need to take care of you guys, but I probably should. 
Come on. Okay. Uh, I need to have bow equipped. Also, did I equip the ocarina, or did it, the game just have it in there in a spot for me? There we go. Piece of cake. Get up there. Oh, it's not a... Okay, good. It's a regular switch. I was... For a second there, concerned that it might be like a switch that needed the big, uh, the Megaton hammer. Okay! Okay, it actually was the boss key. I kind of forgot that we actually do need to get the boss key for this place. So that means everything else that was left here was just keys. That's it. Oops. <laughs> One problem of not having a shield. So everything that's left here is now stuff that, uh, is stuff that we can't get without having the mirror shield. So this place is now, uh, done for us. So next, next we're going to head to the ice cavern. So I'm going to cut here and I will meet you in front of, uh, Zora's river. Like, you know, in front of the waterfall. Okay. One small detour. Uh, we're going to stop at this guy uh, and give us uh, give him the big poe so we have a free bottle spot especially since we're going to the ice caverns we need the free bottles uh, space okay he just gives us the money that does count towards our progress on that though right it definitely has to count towards our progress I would be mad if you actually had to get the 10 poes that are out here instead oh that would be annoying Okay, so Zora's River next. And we are here, just as it turns to dawn. Okay, open up. There, now that I'm actually having to play the song over and over again, I'm getting that feel in my hands again for just doing it quickly. Okay, so we've got a gold sculpture to get. We've also got... We've got a lot of things to do here, but we're going to definitely need that uh, bottle space. Like, I'm gonna want it. Oh, what's the song? Oh yeah, it's uh, Kakariko. So, I can go down there and I can... Like I said, there's things that I can unfreeze out here. Which is what we'll need the two uh, bottle slots for. Is we'll need them to unfreeze the King Zora. And if I don't get the Zora's tunic here, I'm thinking of getting using the other blue fire to... Uh, unfreeze uh, the shop and to buy it and to buy the tunic there because I can do that since I didn't randomize shops okay so there's the one spot over there actually can I just kind of like cheese this a little bit yeah there we go <laughs> uh, I, I might not want to do it for the rest of this though and was it just me or did I see something valuable over there Oh no, it's just Deku Sticks, but it could be the Deku Stick uh, upgrade, which would be nice to have. Like, just for all the extra uh, damage. Let me see. We bored the Pocket Cuckoo. We now have 30 Deku Sticks, so yeah, we, we can just beat people to death with six. <laughs> okay, do I want to do the... I'll wait till after, I think. There's no reason, nothing that'll stop me from doing anything in the ice caverns that I would want to get first. Yeah, the only thing that you would want is maybe like the iron boots, uh, just so you can like take the fast route out. Otherwise, it's not too important. Anything else? Everything else we've got is just fine. So, what is the music for ice caverns? What do we get? What do we get? I'm excited. Oh, this is. Oh, it's like the it's the sacred realm, which is actually kind of fitting. It it that song is actually because it's got like the nice uh, tinkling sounds of the piano to it and stuff. It's actually really well suited for the ice caverns. Oh, nice! I took them all down in one fell swoop. Yeah, definitely very suitable for like an ice caverns uh, theme. Yeah, it's not something that's gonna, you know, bother me too much either. <laughs> like, sometimes some of these songs can be, you know, really rather uh, stress-inducing. Uh, 
I am namely talking about like Lost Woods combined with uh, Goron City every time I feel like stressed out <laughs> when I go to those places because it's just like it's just like from one boss uh, fight song to another just no chill no chill whatsoever okay now I don't think that I can get this one and get back so we just need to take the take the drop and I guess since I don't have a shield, I can't crouch under that. <laughs> I don't think I would have been able to react fast enough to do that anyway. Okay, so we're getting the blue fire. We're also getting the we're getting the one chest that's over here. I used to be really freaked out by uh, the ice keys. Like, they always just freaked me out. I, I don't know, as a kid, like... Just things that would cause you, like, status effects, like really just bug me things so I would always just be like super freaked out of getting frozen by them so I would just be paranoid and like stand in that corner there for a really long time which is dumb because these guys also freeze you but it's just like keys are so much harder to deal with like you except except there I like how I say oh keys are super hard to deal with take casually takes out bow and takes them both down in one shot each <laughs> yeah they are so hard to deal with <laughs> okay cool blue fire navi what is blue fire oh it's the great deku tree it's funny navi has been just telling us about nehru's love which is basically the go see the great deku tree line and then it's like finally it's like what else you got to say navi oh the great deku tree oh cool yeah, I'll deal with that Nehru's love uh, when I have to, Navi. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, good. I don't think we really need to worry about money, though, at this point. I feel like I'm going to have money for whatever I could possibly want. Like, Na like I've already got in the one tunic, so the only one thing that I really think I need to spend money on is the... Uh, the Zora's tunic, which we're going to take care of uh, very soon. And we're going to finally figure out what our last color is. And there we go. We're not going to worry about that pot. That pot is only there if you need the money. It's it's like 200 rupees, I think. I'm pretty sure. It's like one of those rare things that's like 200 rupees. So if you need money, it's really a good thing to just pick up. Obviously, you're probably going to only want to do it if you actually have the Giant's Wallet. Okay, let's go. Gotta go fast. We got about two item pickups in here. Both of them require Blue Fire. Gotta go fast. Come on. Come on, we've got just... We can finish this place super quickly. Oh, yeah, I do need to use this. What's even in there? Another Deku Shield. Is this like our this is like our fourth Deku shield. I don't need it, but I'm going to get it anyway. Just because it would bug me to leave this Deku shield just, you know, sitting here. So come on game. Give me yet another temple of time. So many of those. We've now got like four. Imagine if we just had to carry all our Deku shields along with us. Like you would just have like four Deku shields like just strapped along Link's back. <laughs> okay. You know, it always I always felt like, uh, you know, since normal keys can, like, you know, fly through fire to turn into fire keys, I always felt like these guys should be able to fly through blue fire and turn into, uh, you know, the freezing keys. But, I don't know, I guess they didn't bother with doing that interaction. It's just like, eh, it's, it's like a one place in the game sort of thing. It's not worth putting that kind of interaction into the game. Like fire keys, you're going to run into those a lot more. Oh cool, I think we now have everything we could possibly want for Jabba Jabba. I'm pretty sure we got both the map and the compass. So, we're good. We're good there. Right, so that just leaves like gold sculptulas and like two item drops. The iron boots and the song. And that's it. That's it for the ice caverns. It's gone by super quickly. I mean... Really, it, we're, I shouldn't be talking like it's already done because really this entire last room is like the entirety of the ice temple or the ice caverns. Like whenever I think of this place, this is like the room I think of. 
Like, seriously, I, can... I I just don't know why I wouldn't just run forward and take these guys out as a kid. Like, I was just freaked out. I would just stand in, like, the entrance there and, like, not move out until every single ice piece was dead. Like, they freaked me out that much. <laughs> okay, there we go. Gold Sculptula. Oh, no. Don't. Don't do that. Okay. I think I can do it. Get this one really quick. I could use the blue fire. I could, but I'm pretty sure I don't need to. So, let me just see. Uh, what was the strategy? I'm trying to remember. Was it like... There was a way to get like super close in and, there and get it. Is it like a jump attack? Like which angle was it? There's like a way to get this without having to break through. Okay. I'm gonna cut here until I figure this out. There we go. That's it. That's the right line to get it. All that because I don't want to have to set up for blue fire again. We got the one blue fire. We're fine. And then I can just, you know, take care of everything. Oh, I could use hover boots. And this is where things like the fast change item equips is just super helpful. Like they're on and now they're off. Now I'm back to regular boots. And I didn't have to do anything. That is like super nice just to be able to it's just like having it at your disposal like it would be interesting to play a Zelda game uh, or just to play something of this that was de designed specifically around uh, fast changing boots like just imagine uh, doing it where you just have to like really quickly just switch between all the boots like here switch to the hover boots yeah, I might as well get the extra blue fire. It saves me doing it one time later, maybe. Oh, do -do 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 <laughs> just all the, just the tippity, just going crazy. Okay, there we go. And one more. We're almost, we're almost done. And there we go. Okay, just had to cut there because uh, Troller was acting up. It was making me do funny things. Uh, it, it's like that thing where if you turn on the N64 uh, with the control stick at an angle, uh, the game just automatically has you walking. Does anyone remember that? Where if you like uh, would start your N64, you had your controller in your hand. If you were holding like forward, uh, then it would just automatically have you held forward for like your entire play session until you restart the game. Okay, this is seriously one of the best looking rooms in the game. Hands down, this is like the best looking room in the game. It's like, aesthetically, it's one of my absolute favorites. Oh, and we get to keep hearing Gerudo Valley? Nice! Just, I love, I love this room. Like this is seriously, just like the best room in the game. If you ever wanted to have like a, a place to live in. Din's Fire! Let's go. And... Oh cool, just a heart feet. We've got the sacred feet. That's a great spot I think to end off. So, next time on Ocarina of Time Randomizer. Uh, we'll leave the ice caverns and we're going to find out what King Zora and uh, what King Zora has to give us. So, thank you all so much for watching. Be sore like the amazing falcons you are, and have a wonderful day. Peace out.